Big and tight threes are gonna go off. He's gonna be able to go with this this one right here. All right, so this is a virtual collab. I'm on the voice chat with a GCR, um, Hill Belcher, and Power Tech. Or, I don't know, Power Tech still on. Oh, yeah, he's still on. And there's the activation. Fisker Road. Yep. The so Dash 9 in front. So yeah, it is on the repair track. So, so, on, so basically, where you have the so where you have the flintnels, um, one with a GF Type Three bell. It yeah, is definitely a dash nine. Ninety-eight zero two as the lead engine. It's on the mainline track, as you guys nice. can see. It's actually nice because you don't see the dash nines very out and about anymore. They're often around the downriver area. This looks like yeah, NS359. <laughs> but yeah. And then, I yeah. That, the, if you can't quite be wired a uh, secondary light from the uh, NS gated signal. Yep. Yeah. What how said. Yeah, for the for the bat light on the east side, it is wired, no, it is wired incorrectly for I don't know why. Also, yeah, one. You got a three on the main light track signal. It doesn't matter whether or not it's correctly wired or not. Also, one thing worth mentioning for Viper Road, all the NS signals are on one flash relay. The only signals that are on a separate flash relay are the signals on the Shoreline Club. Excuse me. Oh, wait. No, they're not, actually. Wait. No, they're not. Wait, so they're on separate flash relays? Yeah, this one's definitely not flashing the same as this one. This guy stopped. Oh, he's stopping. Oh, <laughs> that, he's all right. Caleb, that'll be a time for you to go over to the east side and, yeah, so if yeah, I could. That's a good idea. Yeah. And also, you should uh, rotate your phone lamp a pro so that we can see it better. He has side two for the gate, big girl. Throw the gate up. <laughs> Throw the gate up, he said. <laughs> well, let's see what we have here. Ah. I actually, did that, I actually, I actually did that before. I threw a gate up while I was down. It was actually kind of cool. So, <laughs> so I was, did I, actually. So I was wrong. So I thought they were on one flash relay. So they're on pepper flash relay. I did not notice that. Huh. I thought so, too. <laughs> Throw the gate up. Throw the gate up. <laughs> Bruh. Like, toss the gate up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do much. There's a. Uh, dabbed the gate up. I literally dabbed it up. Uh, the van right over there. I don't want to get in trouble. I. Oh, there he goes. I heard a big clunk. Yeah, he's moving again. Slowly. <laughs> I might chase this to Mill Street, honestly, or like Emmons. So I can get like an actual video on it. Damn. Yeah, as you guys can see, the repair track signals are, are off, no training. However, yeah, this can run wired correctly. However, there yeah, is one. one right there, so this is definitely 359. Ah, all right. Anyway, um, so there is one thing I do wish to see at Viper Road. Uh, we have the English mast sitting on the east side, which um, which is completely uh, powered off. I wish to see that oh, in action and determine what that GFE belt is. Uh, it's probably likely a Type 2, I don't know. Maybe a Type 3 or a Type 1, but I'm going to right now guess that it's a Type 2. I noticed this the other day. Oh. Conrail tag. Conrail. <laughs> I didn't know that, that was it here. Tells you that, that, it tells you that mass has probably been sitting there for a while. Oh, yeah. Here's the end of it right here. All right. It, that's a short three. Yeah, 359 is usually kind of short. <laughs> and then once this goes, I'm going to try to beat it to, like, probably Goddard Road, maybe, or Ford Avenue, honestly. Yep, so... so we'll get to see the deactivation in a minute. You'll see the um, correct wiring... And yeah, also um one thing, another thing worth mentioning, the Shoreline Eight have a huge delay, and also the bell on the Shoreline Eight will shut off at deactivation. 
Yep, yep. <laughs> well, there it goes. Yep, there, oh, the, there goes that gate. And then this gate should rise momentarily, and there it goes. And the bell just shut and off. And also, the strong light data signal has a typical CN one cell bell wiring. Basically, per play. Yeah, basically, per se. But yeah, so there you guys have it, and this is my best way I can do for a virtual collab. But yeah, that was the virtual collab here at um, Viper Road in Eat Horse Mission. And yeah, so with all that said, over and out.